Z, and I am the owner and operator of Jokes and Notes Comedy Club, located at 4641 South King Drive, Chicago, Illinois, in the famous Bronzeville District. In this industry, it's a male-dominated industry, so, you know, one, they think uh, a female can't do it quite as well as they can do it. So, uh, I always get approached from male comedians as if I'm the hostess versus the owner of a club. But that has changed in the seven years I've been here because I come from a history of being the enforcer and having a very dynamic personality from my previous business, all jokes aside. So um, the barriers were down, but initially it was quite challenging because I just think men respect men in a male-dominated business much more than they do a female. I sort of got in this industry by mistake. Um, but, you know, once I got into it and being the person that I am, I thought, well, I want to make a difference in the community. I want to create jobs in the community and also bring an upscale entertainment venue to the community. Um, and so with that being said, uh, this is one of the premier comedy clubs in the country. And a lot of comics, you know, want to come and perform at Jokes and Notes on all levels. Um, and once I saw that people love to laugh, I could relieve stress, bring the funny, and run a well, a good, oper operate a really good business, this was my destination, I thought. Here I am making a difference. And a lot of comedians in the seven years have grown and developed, and they're doing lots of big things on TV and in sitcoms and pilots. And that, that's very rewarding for me seven years. Absolutely. Um, since I opened, uh, Lil Rail has been recasted, or, well he's been casted, not recasted, but casted for the room be funny when that comes out. He was also listed as one of the top ten comedians to watch in Variety. Huge, huge achievement, you know, especially for a Chicago comedian from the West Side. Who knew, right? Um, and he is taping Chelsea lately this Wednesday night. So we're quite excited about that. Um, we also have Willie Lynch Jr. who just won the Bay, Air, uh, Bay Area Comedy Festival out in San Francisco. No, actually it's in Oakland. And uh, who knew he would do that as well. And now he's uh, slated for something on BET. So he is doing some really big things as well. Uh, Dion Cole used to be one of my hosts when I first opened this club, and now he writes for Conan O'Brien. Mm -hmm. Who knew that would happen? And he is huge, huge in uh, LA. So, you know, with that being said, there's a lot more coming. And the biggest thing for me is in all my comedy years, we always, as an urban venue, wanted to be participate in the Just for Last Comedy uh, Festival. And three years ago, a young man came here from that uh, festival and he invited us in and that was a huge prestigious invitation and so now instead of these comedians having to try to figure out how to get to the west coast or the east coast they have a venue here that just for last comes and I audition comedians for those shows and we had comedians out in Montreal this past June so I'm happy I'm very happy with uh, our achievements in the seven years. I actually have often thought of expanding and I, I am looking at other markets because I think it would be great to have more than one club just so I can house and platform many more com comedians because I can't fit them all in in this one venue. Um, so we are, you know, thinking of doing that as well as I don't know, I think eventually I would like to have my own agency with a roster of comics living in LA, 
and just sending them all over the country to perform and, and sort of getting to that next level outside of the club. I don't know how long I could be in the nightlife, so it's time to flip the switch and do it by day, but make things happen at night. I would say to females, if they're a comic, when you decide that you're going to be a female comedian, make sure you bring great material um, and not be like every other female comedian when you come to the stage with your funny. For female, females in business in this industry, uh, owning and operating a comedy club is very challenging and my one thing is always be prepared. You just never know what's going to come, but if you're prepared, you can work anything out.